Hello and welcome to uh, ZAMP Installation 101. Uh, I will be demonstrating how to install uh, Apache, PHP, and MySQL bundled up into uh, one installation um, for you. So let's start up our browser and go to our favorite search engine. and type in the search box ZAMP in my case it's for Windows so I will click on Windows scroll down click on the download link and select installer it will prompt us shortly uh, to download the file and we'll save it uh, locally to our uh, hard drive anywhere on C drive is fine and it will start downloading the uh, file should be done in a minute okay so our download is done I will open the uh, downloaded file and this will in start the uh, ZAMP software installation click OK next by default it puts it in a Windows directory called C ZAMP we're fine with that next what we want to install is you want to create a shortcut on your desktop and um, on your start menu and you also want to check the box that says install Apache as service and install MySQL as service now if we wanted an FTP server we would check the third option but we're not gonna uh, use an FTP server so for this case I will just select those two and click on install the uh, installation should be uh, pretty straightforward there's um, not a whole lot of uh, options there once you start the installation you just watch it go it's almost done with the installation now in reality this is going to take a little bit longer than what you see here on the screen because I cut out some of the uh, time um, but wh when it is done it will install Apache which is your web server uh, PHP uh, which is your scripting language for uh, programming MySQL which is uh, the database uh, software basically and it will also have Perl which is another older scripting language and um, everything else that you'll uh, pretty much need for any kind of uh, open source uh, web development you will have in this installation 
and uh, I will show that uh, in a moment. The uh, installation process itself is uh, pretty much what you see here on the screen regardless of what uh, version of Windows you're running. In a uh, newer version of Windows such as Vista and Windows 7 you may get a prompt uh, telling you that your firewall uh, may prevent you from using the software correctly. Not to worry, just click OK and uh, the installation will actually resolve the issue for you. So again, here you don't really have to press on anything until it gives you the finish screen. So we'll hit finish. <coughs> It'll do uh, port configuration, a uh, couple of miscellaneous items and it will start Apache uh, web service uh, for you. Again, no need to press any keys. It, once it's configured, it will uh, resume. Now it's uh, starting the MySQL service and it's prompting us that the installation is finished. Click yes and we are done. This prompt here if you get don't worry about this a whole lot this just uh, means the web service um, had an issue uh, initially starting. As you can see both Apache and MySQL are running. This is through this XAMPP control panel icon that it just inserted. And I can minimize this or I can close out of it. And there's an icon in the system tray if you double click on it it will bring it back up. So this is pretty much the control panel for your uh, uh, web server. Now if you go on your uh, computer on the C drive you'll notice that there's a new folder here called XAMPP. If you open this folder there's a lot of other folders inside of here the one folder that you care about is this htdocs folder. I'm going to right click on it and create a shortcut and place that on my desktop. And that's pretty much so you can get to it more easily. This is the directory that your web server runs off of. So if I type in my browser localhost, this is my local uh, web server. That's how you access it is by typing in localhost. Now the rest of the path is built-in XAMPP files which we're no longer going to use. So I'm gonna put them in a junk folder just to get things uh, cleaned up a bit. Everything except for the XAMPP folder goes in my junk folder. Nice and clean. And in this directory I'm going to create a new text document. Call it uh, index.html click on it to open it up 
and just type in here this is a test on my local web server save it so now if I go to localhost index.html oh, looks like I have something else that you should do is under folder options under view you want to make sure that it does not hide the extension for known file types hit OK and then you'll notice that this file is actually a .txt file we need it to be .html so now if we refresh it should detect that file there we go this means that your web server is up and running and it's ready for use thanks for watching